I think there's a pride in the fact that she would die by the sword. Like she says, I'd rather, you know, die by a thousand swords than in here. I think that's part of her need to fight and not lay down and, and die as a woman. I think from her point of view, you know, she doesn't really know what Tyrion's plan is. She hasn't got a clue of that. She sees this vast army coming to overwhelm her city and she knows that if they do that, you know, her fate will be sealed, that there is only one thing going to happen to her and her family and they will, you know, suffer a fairly um, unpleasant death. So, you know, she has got to the stage where she's prepared to control that situation to a degree. She doesn't want anyone winning. And for Tommen, she doesn't want anyone to hurt her boy. And at this point, she feels absolutely she has no choice. There's no way out and it's devastating and she can't bear the thought of anything hurting him. And if that means taking her own life, taking her son's life, um, then that's what she'll do. She's a very um, decisive character and very determined and strong-willed. And so, you know, that pays off in, a, in, in this extreme behavior.